back. Hopefully, everything is working now. And, uh, <laughs> and we are. streaming properly. I'm not yet certain as uh okay, it looks like it is up. I don't see a black screen of death, so um maybe war will join us in the voice chat soon. Oh. Uh, Hi there. I'm so, you can break them now. Okay, I, I, I will attempt not to break them. How about that? I guess. <laughs> Look, I woke up at 1 30, got on my computer, and switched to DMs to be right as I got on. <laughs> Saying, hey, Ward, you're casting Starkiller versus Biowise. <laughs> Well, why don't you uh, introduce our first player, and we'll go from there. At the top left, we have Starkiller. I see. Yeah. And at the bottom right, as the Red Zerg, it is Bioice. A recent addition to the team. Okay, so what happened the first game? Well, Starkiller went for a 14 pool. Um, got nothing done with it, fell behind, and just got murdered. It was really rough to watch. The second game, they both did a hash gas pool opening, which it looks like they're going to be doing this one, and Starkiller ended up in some sort of like weird base trade and managed to win that. So. I see. Is this, this the winner's bracket, bracket, right? I believe so. Otherwise, it would be a best of one. If it were loser's bracket, it would be only one game. Okay. Well, then this is the winner's bracket. Star Killer was a... Wow. Double gas. Double hash to four pool. Yeah, th this is like uh, on the other end of like, th th there's cheese, and then there's, like, extreme greed. <laughs> the exact opposite of what you do. This is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be amazed if he gets away with this. He's spying he's sending an overlord to the third. So he's going to see it. Eventually, I mean, it will be done by the time he sees it. <laughs> Yeah, but um, he, the pool will also be done too, so he'll be able to use all three hatches for larva production of lings. No doubt, he he he's not going to have time to make drones anywhere. That's true. I mean, yeah, he's not going to be able to get anything done with these four lings. I was just thinking, if if he scouts it, will he have time to keep pressure on? Uh, maybe. I don't foresee that happening though, because like. It, it This was a hatch first. Were this a pool first out of by eyes, then maybe there's a timing for him. But I, I don't think so. So he knows now. Yeah. Um. Starkiller is actually getting a bailing nest this game, which is different from last game. He skipped the bailing nest, went straight into roaches, and then uh, I, I think muted with only making two roaches, and that was only because he had to defend. I think the Baneling Ness is consistent with the ultra-fast third. Like, he has to defend that third somehow, right? So, what, what what's going to be there quickly enough? Banelings. It's true. Speed really late in this build, though. Yeah, because of his gas. Is it the gas, or is it just Starkiller is just not, like, starting speed? He has 120. Well, Banelings are running into the main. It may not matter why there is no speed if he cannot stop this. Uh, he might 
Well, this is a decent drone split, and the Banelings are looking to zone more than get immediate damage. Uh, they are going to detonate on a couple... Uh... No, run! Run! Oh boy. I thought that wasn't as bad as it could have been. <laughs> he was dealing with things in the main, I guess. Uh, he's going to have his own Banelings now, and they're going to try and clean this up? I don't know. I, I think Starkiller has taken way too much damage from this. It's like 11 workers to 22. Oof, that Baneling got way too much done. <laughs> I was about to say, if Starkiller can hold, he has a third base. Fast. Yeah, but that's all neutralized now, because Fireice's own third is also up, so he has the same larva production. Uh, it, arguably more, since he has queens. I, I don't know, um... It's true. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to think of this as, like, like a Protoss. Eh. Disruptors. Disruptors would solve this, yes. Okay. Okay. It would. I start killer. Double experiment for Bull and I'm gonna work out so well for him. We got that in the lose magnitude 2 1. Got a nice short 15 minutes. This series. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Alright, let's find uh, another one then. Starkiller versus Carowind next match. Mm <laughs> hmm. I need to look at the bracket actually. I don't. Uh. Announcement. Should we get Australia versus BioIce? If we can do that. Yeah, I do that. Uh. I imagine Intuo is on um, Papa Mike versus Light. Oh, they're actually not in game either, so I don't. Um, I think Astray versus Bias would be better. Like, okay. Do we really want to see matches? I mean, most people would say no. There are two streams running, so I just don't want to be in the same. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I guess we're the B stream. Yes. So we don't get dibs. <laughs> okay, we're being told to get Paco vs. Light. Yeah, we're going to. Alright. I'll probably see Disruptor, so you know what? Never mind. I'm not happy. Eh! Oh, that's good. So, buffaloes eat joking. cookies. Yeah, we love cookies. Okay, buffaloes eat cookies. Got it, got it. Delicious. <laughs> oh, I see Carolyn was able to one over you in the bracket, actually. <laughs> that's actually interesting. Why is I'm sure that? he had a blast playing against your against your cannons. Oh, yeah. Eh. I don't know if. I don't know where my like. I feel like I such a volatile player. Like some, oh. like some games I play like really well, and other games is like, 
why did I even try this? I mean, part oh, of it is... Uh, yeah. I mean... I yeah. feel like it's the same for, for me in every game I play. Like, some games, StarCraft, I, I feel like I'm unstoppable. And the other ones, I just, I die to a 12th pool, and I'm like, well... I mean, to be fair, like, he did have his SEV, like, preemptively there, so, like, that's not something I usually play against, and it's a oh, good... Oh, he's well aware of what you do. Oh, yes, of course he is. He better be. <laughs> So like it, it was a good small adjustment that he made. I, I, I like it when people do that. It means that I actually have to play the game <laughs> instead of collect free wins. Um, but like, I, I think I like put my pylon on the wrong or put my probe on the wrong side of the pylon wall or something really like, I was like, why did I do this? Okay, whatever. And then I missed a cancel. So, like, just all these little details that, like, most people don't even pay attention to because, I mean, it's a cannon rush. What, what are you paying attention to? <laughs> yeah, you just make cannons and you walk and you win. That, that, that's how people think of it, yes. That's not what that's actually not happens. <laughs> but, no, that's yeah. how it is. Uh-huh, right, right, right. That's how it is. <laughs> okay, War. We, we, we will, we, we will uh, look for an actual game to cast as opposed to... Uh, <laughs> I thought we were waiting for our game to cast. <laughs> you should have gotten an invite to Automaton. I haven't gotten an invite. Okay, one second. Let me uh, find you. Where are you? I'm here. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> So, ironically, Automaton is a terrible cannon map. So, <laughs> we will definitely not be seeing that. I'm Actually, just ready. Light I, loves his disruptors. Yeah, no. Um, neither of these players are cannon rushers, so. <laughs> I mean, Light's kind of cheesy. He's cheesy, but, like, cannons are the one cheese that he doesn't do. He's not a filthy cheese. I resent that. <laughs> I mean, cannon rushes are filthy cheeses. Change my mind. Uh, what cheese is not filthy? Uh, proxy disruptor. Okay. And uh, you you, you want to know what what what's the easiest way to get to proxy disruptor? Uh. Cannons versus Zerg. <laughs> no. No, you will get there no. faster. Or you just full wall off the top of your ramp, right? With a forge and a cannon, so you make it look like it's a cannon rush. And when they turtle down, they realize, oh, wait, it's not a cannon rush. And then you roll in with five disruptors. That's not going to help you get to big buffalo dis strats right here. That that's not going to help you get there faster unless you're going gate forge. But even gate forge is still technically a, like, wrong. But I, like, the only reason, so a, a cannon rush against the zerg is really just a distance rush. So <laughs> anyway, we are way off topic. PVP. Oh yeah, we are in PVP. <laughs> Well, the meta for PvP is kind of wonky. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that's that, fair. I say that as if it was ever normal, or... Ah. Uh. And or as if I play this game still. <laughs> um, the last PvP I played against was against Lord of Terrans um, in a meme match. And, uh, you know, we'll talk. But I, I hope, I don't know if this is true, I hope Blink Ruptor is back in that. It might come back, or it, it may experience some revival, because um, the Oracle is not as strong, and then Thank the, God. um, 
the robo is cheaper. And there was some other thing. Oh, the sentry. Yeah, I mean, those were all geared geared towards. Oh, and the you. adept has a slightly um longer. longer. It, it, it's like on par with the stalker now. So, like multiple adepts is not as good as it used to be. Anyway, why don't you uh, introduce our first player? So the top left, um. we have Light, the disruptor mm, apprentice himself. That is not the toggle. There is the toggle. <laughs> okay. And to the top right, as the blue Protoss, it is Taco Mike. I didn't want to say god, because that's uncanny. I'm the disruptor king. I didn't want to say like it was a queen, because that's weird. Okay. It makes sense in my mind. Uh, uh, okay. The buffalo has spoken. Yeah. <laughs> we got some, uh, funky, well... Light has a normal PvP wall. Akko has a uh, more PvZ-ish wall, but you don't normally wall with a pylon. Normal part of a PvP wall off is where you can easily throw down a full pylon to block the adapt ship. Well, it will still block. I, I still block. It's just easier where you don't have to like send your program at a weird path and you can just like. I mean, I mean, all the the only play. difference is that he has exactly one hex that he has to put it in. Like, if his probe is there, idle, then it doesn't make any difference. We got light with double deaths. I mean, it, it is arguably better in that um, his pylon is slightly more protected, and uh, his archons will not get stuck going in and out of that choke. Yeah. Like, you're not worried about uh, Zealot run guys up the ramp into the net. Through right. the natural off into the ramp into the main like you would be in Surf Thieves. Right. Light's gonna get a shield battery in the middle. Hakka's gonna get the uh, boring Stargate. Still haven't seen any uh, what tech path uh, Light wants to go. Why is this probe coming here? He just totally walled off the top of like he walled off the top of his main. Uh, this is very all in whatever this is. Uh four yeah. gate? No, mm. uh, warp tech is being chronoed. Maybe. I don't Pylon. know what the four gate. As Lord of Terrence would attest. Oh no. Or is it just three gate? Oh hey, there's some stockers right here. Um, I don't know what's happening at the top of Paco's mics. Paco's uh, ramp, I'll be honest. Well, he got two shield batteries. He needs to build another pylon because his... Well, okay, he can recharge with his shield battery. <laughs> That's a very, um... Yeah, again, I don't know what's happening. Uh, what's happening is that uh, Light has... Um three gateways of production that he's trying to pressure uh, his opponent into submission. However, um, there are shield batteries that bought enough time for a phoenix lift and another warp in. Uh, well, he so, still has high ground vision, so that force field didn't really do Yeah, in, that until much. that stalker dies, which it is now dead. Um, there is a fourth gateway in production. I feel like this uh, fourth gateway is slightly late, but it may not matter. Yeah. Alrighty. Light takes game one with uh, the oldest build in the Protoss book. That's very true.
on the bottom side of the bracket, bracket uh, Starkiller beat Carowind. So Starkiller will not be playing against Kuna Otto. Yeah. What a wonderful phrase. Kuna plays Zerg for Karen. He plays turn. He always seems to just play whatever race he wanted to. His main is Terran, it is considerably better than his Zerg. He just plays Zerg as a main off race. Mm -hmm. It's like when he wants to have some fun. Which is necessary. Playing Starcraft for fun? I'm going to put fun in quotes. Is that better? What happened yeah. here? Hmm. Did you get the invite? Uh, yes, I did. Why is it not... So, like, when you get PM'd in-game... <coughs> when you get PM'd in-game and you're tapped out, it shows you the notification. Why does it not do that to you for a lot of you? I don't know, but it doesn't show you in-game. Well, it says in-stream lobby, which I bugged out. Oh, boy. Look, they've only known about this bug for a couple years, okay? Um... You might need to restart your client. God, I hope not. Yeah, I think you have to restart your client. You don't have to restart your computer, just... Thank God, because... The way that first game went, you probably just want to finish a series. Get the invite now. Yes. Oh gosh. <laughs> that problem occurred all kinds of again. Please try again later. I'm joining the game. Hold on. Okay. All right, I'm here. Excellent. All right, let's go. Let's go. Please, go, 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 go. All righty. Start off our introduction. So at the bottom right, we have the disruptor user himself, White. And to the top left, in the blue trunks, it is the Protoss Paco Mike.
I mean, I don't even know if I consider it specific to any matchup, though. Base is not. It's just closer to PVZ because the PVZ. I mean, a PVZ all would be a PVZ would be at the bottom. <laughs> well, I know that. Unless you can in Russian. Wow, we're really going to pull that card. <laughs> If you're cannon rushing, you shouldn't even have your pylon in the wall. <laughs> I know, you shouldn't have your pylon in the wall in general. <laughs> but this is the closest thing to a, like, normal war that I see is a PvZ match. I mean, it's pretty normal in PvP, too. Is it? Yes! But your Archons are so fat, they can't get through. That's why they put, I mean... Part of the reason why they put it there is so that if they want, they can kill the pylon later. There's no intent of moving the Archons into your main with this wall. That's really the only difference. I mean, it, it, it's, it's not optimal, in my opinion, but it's standard. Pacomite's going straight into a twilight. So, DT's that silly? Yeah, I mean, There's no other reason why. Hmm. I, I don't know. I, I feel like, uh. Blink. Yeah, so with a faster blink. Oh, that's true. Oh my god, look at that thing whirl across that screen. Holy crap. Yeah, it. it it got a considerable buff uh, in terms of its timing, so there might be a room for the new meta for blink builds. Blink. Yeah, I have no idea what the validity of it is yet, um, or viability of it is yet, but. Um, it's gonna be scout on this. Yeah. yeah. Old scout, that's perfect. And then it's gonna park on over just, just a rubbish in his face. I mean, Light also is getting his own blink, and but it will be slower. So much slower. Or at least, yeah, there it goes. He has a pile on the low ground. Alright, there's two shield batteries on the low ground. So stalkers, his stalkers are in a position where he's... Uh, Paco will have to go all in with a blink to uh, depower it, and that's not, well, I don't know if he moves out like that. Hmm. Going back. Robo on the way for uh, Paco Mike. Reference, please. Please. Yeah, this is looking. Like, we're probably gonna get a uh, Blink Raptor War, actually. Yay! I mean, it could still be something else, but with the way both of them are playing, uh, the signs are in the air. <laughs> High stalker counts and all that good stuff. For me, right now, I will already have my disruptors out. <laughs> I'm gonna see these six stalkers uh, check for a fast third, and they could wow, blink into the main. The and there's the phoenix. They're thinking about it. Uh, there is a stalker in position. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> yep. The thought was there, but uh, not today. I mean, those were. Oh, okay, never mind. There's the. They. So, it's kind of funny. There was a faster blink for Paco Mike, but um, that, that window of opportunity um, was eaten up by a higher stalker count coming out of light, and his own blink finished up before that could be punished. He's gonna move across the map. He. In, encounters an immortal. Oh, that's an aggressive blink. I do not agree with that blink at all. He 
looked ahead of his immortal. Yeah, it was... I, I think you're right. It was a little bit questionable. You can go snipe the sentry. Sentry. No, 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 no. Back up. You can't fight him with this. You see the warp prison. That's better. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, the immortal goes down. That's game right there. GG. Light takes the queen 2 0. I didn't even get to see this rock. <laughs> we were headed that way, but uh, know, it, it has to develop. That's the worst part. It, it, it has to develop. Never watching. <laughs> Um, see there was a mention of chat uh, saying that there are two unusual protoss for two very different reasons i don't know if they were talking about the game we casted or the casters themselves <laughs> probably both <laughs> both that <laughs> so then change it before unusual <laughs> protoss yeah <sighs> anyway uh let's find another game Well, I imagine um, Star Killer versus Kuna might finish soon, so then the winner of that plays Taco Mike, so we might be able to cast that. I'm gonna get some water, so I will also be back. I returned. Did I hold up anything? Probably. Zeno! Zeno! Why is the buffalo shouting? I was asking, did I hold anything? Um, we're good so far. Okay. And then that will give me time to finish my ATL block I need to finish. Okay. Do you want to play an ATL? I don't have strong preference either way. Okay. Um... How did you enjoy Stasis last week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I, I would have been surprised if you had said uh, it's converted me. I need to watch your stasis game. Wait, did you even get to play on stasis? Hold on. Let me look at my roster. Uh, resume. Roster. What happened to my roster? Too many games blend in my head sometimes. I don't remember doing well. Yeah. I think I lost because some bad play on my end, probably. <laughs> Why else do people lose? Is there a game buff? Okay. Well, hmm. <laughs> I, I, I should avoid open-ended questions with snarky people. Yeah, open-ended questions with me is probably a bad idea. Where did I put resume? Oh no, do I have to remake my roster list again? No. No. What you did? What I did? How do you know it wasn't Lord? Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> Lord. Lord. Lord, you ruined my roster. Now I don't remember. Now I don't know who vote vetoed stasis or not. Well, I guess everyone gets the equal chance to play on stasis now. Is stasis even or, in the or, pool anymore, or is it current? Well, so this is the last weekend. This is the last match for stasis. Oh, okay. I see. Well, I don't like it, so. Yeah. Mm. How did you feel about Port Alexander? Did you have that one vetoed? I like Port. You like Port, Port is Alexander. good. It, it, it has cannon options. Lots of cannon options. <laughs> oh, that's... I mean, that doesn't mean I will cannon, it just, you know. Oh. <laughs> I don't cannon all my Terrans. I only cannon the Terrans I really like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, we have the ATL NA roster done. <laughs> Without a spreadsheet, it feels really, really dirty and bad. No, the matches have slowed down to a bit of a grind. Starkiller versus Paco, or Kuno versus Paco, could be really good. Yeah, I'm thinking that will be our next um, thing. Look, I'm doing this instead of playing Overwatch. So this is how much I care about my my uh, my clan. Not even paid. Zeno only blackmails me. I mean, Paco is pretty strong, and this is on the NA server, so... Doesn't Paco live in, like, Chile or something? True, he also gets ping, but I don't know how much... But I, I, I don't I mean, he's probably more used to playing on the... I don't know sure. how much Uzi oh, plays on the... Hmm? He's from Mexico. Paco? Yeah. Okay. Then that's not very that's much not... ping at all. Well. It's like, well, I guess it depends where. <laughs> yeah. 
He was on Garth at the start of the game, maybe. And then he joined Psionic, and now he's on Alpha. Seven. And Cisco Rodriguez. He's so good, his WCS rank is zero. Um, I, what the, like, there have only been qualifiers, if that's what you're asking. And, like, do, have, have they, they announced, announced where the stocks, stocks are going to be? Oh, uh, I don't think so. They only announced winter. I don't believe they announced any of the LAN events. Though it was implied that there will be three LAN events this year, but they've been I pretty. Don't know if they're going to be coming, coming to my area. Area. Um, there is a DreamHack, uh, Dallas. Yes, yes but is there, there going to be a StarCraft stock there? there? I don't know. I can't. Yeah, that's, that's what I want to know. know. I know there's a DreamHack Dallas. I just want to know if it's a start. Are you in Dallas or Austin? Mm -hmm. What's your uh, closest major city? Dallas. Okay. Austin is, they're both a decent drive, but Austin is much farther away. Kind of what so, some people think, Texas. You're like... Pretty big. College Station, or where are you exactly? How do you know College Station? I lived in Texas. Oh, I'm in uh, Dallas Fort Worth right now. Okay. So you are part, still part of the Metroplex, though. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'll just ask the FB Cup later. No. no. <laughs> Him. <laughs> I don't want with the Civic Cup. The Civic Cup is the one with me. <laughs> Why does everyone want to make me so sad? Well, if this uh, Star Killer versus Tuna game decides to take so long, we might end up with uh, the winner of Fire Zerg versus Uzi Cody instead. <laughs> Is it just all Zerg except for Paco in the bottom bracket right now? Well, Uzi Cody and and uh, Kuna Matata are both Terran. Oh, I keep thinking Kuna Zerg. I've only seen him play Zerg. Okay. You realize that he's played Terran since the if like when you got here, he only played Terran. True, but I, I never really talked with him when I got here.
I always forget about this thing. Hang on. Where were we? Um, we are waiting on someone to win their game so that we can cast their game after they've won. Uzi Cody won. Really? Versus Firezerg. Oh, Fires. Yeah, I think. Alright. DBZ, let's go, boys. Where is Uzi? There is Uzi. All right, so once Bio returns from, uh, I mean, he did have to wait a little bit, um, but uh, once he returns from wherever he has, wherever um, Living Ice has to freeze or whatever they do, um, we'll be uh, underway. Well, uh, it looks like Starkiller beat uh, Kuna, and so. Were you Fox instead of Starkiller? I don't know what's going on.
rumor has it uh, that uh, that um, rumor has it that Star Killer sent a uh, Roach operative to cut power to um, Paco Mike's internet. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I'm sorry, buffalo. What is the size of a buffalo's brain? Depends. That's an angel. Pretty small right now. <laughs> a, 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 No, a, oh my god, a, oh my god. Yes, ankle has a K in it. Ink. Oh. Uh. Ah. Why do you need to know this? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Are, are, are you ordering one? <laughs> okay. No. Why does a buffalo need a tracking device? That's what I want to know. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, what just happened here? What? Okay, BioIce is back online, but now I don't see where... Oh, Lucy just left the... Why did he... Okay, well, there, there's more than one chat we can use. We'll just use this one. <laughs> okay, so... Bio has been retrieved from the netherworld and we shall be getting an invite from Uzi soon, hopefully. Zeno, you know, are you ready, ready for a joke? joke? No. Too bad you're getting one five, six, six for seven. Why? He's, He's not afraid. Right However, both of them really hate that their parents hate their parents because they name them as num after numbers. They were bullied constantly in high school and college, even the interviews laughed at a lot when they see their resumes. Six recently asked a girl, and she replied, No thanks, I only go for a perfect ten, which added to his woes. Oh. That's a joke. Uh, it, 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 it could use some improvement. Which, Which planet, planet is closest, closest to us? us? Um, 
I want to say Venus is closer than Mars, but I don't recall exactly. No, and Earth. Do we live on the moon? Moon's not a planet, so no. <laughs> well, then how is Earth closest to us if we are on it? it. We're, We're on, on it, so it's close. Okay, Buffalo. Okay. No, no think, think about, about it, okay? okay? So, like, if, if you're We make up your... the Earth. <laughs> if you're saying... So, that 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 is quantifiable to saying that which person is closest to you? You are. Yes. That 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 is acknowledging an organism as being within itself, as opposed to uh, identifying individuality. I don't know what you just said, but it sounds like you're just trying to bully me with words. <laughs> Did you get the invite? Nope. <laughs> okay. One second. Oh, where, where? Ah, where are you? There you are. I'm here. Are you sure you're on Earth? Yeah. yeah. Lord Terrence is asking me, am I living in a box right now? Well, kind of, actually. Now that I think of it, it is a pretty boxy room. Did, did you not accept the invite? I accepted it. It says entering in the lobby. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, uh, it appears they started, so... Oh, well, okay. Wait, can I join? Nope. Well, solo cast this one, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I'll just mute and deafen myself. Just ping me when you're free. Okay. Oh... <sighs> Let's see, if he's deafened himself and muted himself, hmm. <laughs> Alright, spawning here in the bottom right as the uh, Teal Terran. Ooh, I like the alliteration. It is Uzi Cody. And to the top left as the Red Zerg. A recent addition to Alpha X, it is Bioice. Overlay. Thank you. <laughs> it, it's been on the other screen so long, I forgot it was even there. <laughs> Sushi to save the day. Again. Okay, so hatch gas pool and looks like what will probably be a Reaper expand. Yeah. SCV's moving down. There was a slightly fast gas, I wanna say. Well, hmm. I don't know. At any rate, I don't play Terran. And there's that expansion. Oh, I could have clicked on it, but I don't know the timings anymore. Where are we? We're at two, two minutes, so I think that was... I don't know. I want to say that was gas first, but... My brain is fuzzy. Ah, uh, SEV, or er, SEV, Reaper is here going to, okay, the SEV was blocking, and that is delayed momentarily. But I will lose a drone. Oh, uncharacteristic. Almost loses a second. It does find its way to an extractor. 
and the queen will defend this mineral line. There is no other jump up spot except past the queen, so um, now that the queen is out, uh, Uzi Cody will not be able to incur more drone losses upon his opponent. These two lings are um, trying to, or four lings are trying to harass, but uh, the Reaper has returned home, and with the Marine, uh, the action just um, moves to the other side of the map momentarily. The SEV might... no, it shouldn't. The Reaper and Marine do get back in time to save it. So all in all, one for one, uh, plus the Lings. Behind this, this is a 111 coming up. Uh, possibly a add on switch? Yeah, okay. So, Banshee's Banshee Hellion. Uh, so, yeah, there's the cloak. And an armory. Is this uh, Hellbats? Where are we going with this? Oh. Okay. Um. Interesting. I'm not sure what Uzi Cody's doing here. I guess he wants to clear this Overlord before he progresses to. Um. His follow up behind his opener. He's gonna move out with um, six Hellions, a Reaper, and a Banshee. This is all scouted, so uh, Bioice has time to prepare, a, or has had time to prepare a response. He's gonna be defending predominantly with Queen, uh, with some Ling support. Um, they are going to get right up on this, and the queens are, well, they're managing pretty okay. There's no um, detection for this banshee just yet, uh, only now as they back into the um, spore, and uh, this is defended pretty well. Um, Magali lost, D did he lose anything? A couple lings? Twelve lings? Or not even because he lost four to start with, so um, some light pressure and all is well. Uh, we're going to get uh, mech coming out of Uzi Cody. Um, and... Couple widow mines have entered this. Uh, third is complete, but not on location. It's being transformed to an orbital before it floats over. Uh, mines are going to occupy this um, midway point into the natural. Back on the bio ice end of things, uh, we do see that spire going down. Uh, that's gonna give some good harass potential to bio ice. Uh, maybe maneuver around the mineral lines. Um, these mines that we see coming out are going to really help zone out the mutas from critical areas. And. A fourth has gone down for our red zerg. Queen count is pretty sizable. Uh, there is also a macro hatch at the third and a roach one. So I think Biolice will go up to, we'll get like maybe nine mutas and then um, pump out roaches for his. Uh, 
primary unit composition of the mid game. Um, couple Hellions poking, uh, trying to clear this creep. And there's those uh, starting mutas. You can always uh, choose to commit heavier to mutas, but um, it's not very common and requires a lot of uh, work from the mutas to justify the um, gas investment. Uh, oh, we're gonna get some mobile mech upgrades with the uh, blue flame and magfield, but 18 SEVs have gone down. Uh, make that 23. Wow, these mutas have definitely paid for themselves. And on the other side of things, uh, Uzi Cody is engaging into the uh, Roach Bane force, getting cleaned up. Bio Ice is in pretty good control of this game. Uzi Cody may be in a spot of bother. He has lost 24 SEVs. Uh, this orbital is in serious. Okay, it it, it the um the the mutas have been pushed back, uh, but a sizable roach force is uh, knocking on this third uh, nearly maxed roach force. In fact, and. There are cyclones, yes, but there's no more space for them to kite against these roaches anymore. And they're going to get right on top of these SEVs. 12, 14 more SEVs are falling. Uh, another mineral line's worth, in fact. And uh, the roaches will be cleaned up, but uh, there's always that at what cost. Um, the mutas have mostly been dealt with after killing... Uh, some more SCVs. Uh, we're, we're just losing all the SCVs this game. Uh, we do still have a mining base for Uzi Cody, uh, but uh, this is quite a hole that he's uh, found himself in. Uh, just um, really sharp Muta Roach timing. Um, after. Um, that opening uh, was deflected pretty well from those queens. Uh, Uzi Cody is trying to push in with his uh, Banshee Cyclone Force, but uh, not finding anything here as the roaches um, are there to push them back. A couple banshees are going to uh, hit this newly established fifth, um, or establishing fifth, I should say. Uh, gonna get a couple drones and some roaches. Uh, as he then, he's gotten a nice pathway into the natural. The only issue is he can't really engage further or else he doesn't have a retreat path. So he's gonna start his retreat as the roaches get on top of him trying to cut off his escape um oh gosh oh no uzi cody having a moment of hesitation is going to lose nearly all of his uh, ground force Uzi does have a fourth command center, but I don't see that um, paying out for him anytime soon. He's going to lose... Um, actually, Bioice has decided to just engage on top of these uh, with the abducts, with the blinding clouds. Uh, this is quite scary, uh, but the tank is here. I think Uzi stabilized... Well, oh. He might be able to clean this up, but I don't see where he's going to go from here. Um, yes, he has mules, and that's going to allow him to 
resaturate some of this, or keep mining, I should say. Um, but, I mean, look at the supply. It's just such a sharp di- Oh, okay, I guess he did kill this hatch with his um, banshees. So that's something. Um, but uh, it still feels very much like a one base Terran versus uh, three base Zerg, economically speaking. He's gonna try to replenish his mech force. Um, but, uh, I mean, we're at the stage of the game that there are vipers in play. What do you do from here, Azuzi Cody? This just feels so desperate from the Terran. I I'm not really sure what options there are. He's gonna hang in there and uh, continue to engage with these Cyclones. They do have upgrades, so that's gonna help. He's uh, gonna begin that retreat, but the Hydra Roach is on top of him as uh, there was creep to get him in position all that much quicker. He has planted his fourth on location. I am surprised by this decision, to be honest. Oh, he's turning it into planetary. Oh no! Okay, he will... Oh, no, those are Hydras! Well, okay. Um, so that happened. Uzi lost his fourth, uh, as the Hydras, uh, do shoot up. And, uh, this pathway has also been opened up, so Vileis has more maneuverability on this, uh, bottom left, bottom center of the map. It's gonna push in again, there are a couple tanks here, but the blinding clouds go down, and a nice spread from Vileis is going to close out this game. Okay, so we will move on to Bioice versus Starkiller. And. Hi. Um, well, Uzi Cody went for mech, and uh, Bioice shut down the opening and then punished it. Oh. Like, he just defended Hellion Banshee with, like, six queens and a handful of lings, and then Muta Roach just... Yeah. A wild buffalo has appeared. I have. Hi. So I guess this is the rematch then. 
Yeah. 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 It's a rematch. Incredible, I lost my phone. Maybe a uh, sippy cup can call it for you. Oh god, a sippy cup actually gets my phone number. I'm actually banning it from all my uh, discords I have added now. <laughs> Scorch the earth. <laughs> Actually, Actually, going on. Okay, invite to Cyber Forest. Where are you? There you are. Cyber player, you're blasting your music again. Excellent, excellent. Alrighty. I'm here. Well, this is still a best of one, so. Yep. Uh oh, oh. Astrid two one white. white. So the no, winner so... of this plays against White. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do, do we, we get, get this match, match or is this, this our last match, match we play? Yeah. I do not know. I think this is, this is our last. Alright, you wanna start off our intros? Okay, this is the last one. You gotta go off in style. In the modern, we have to start. But I'm not stylish, you know. It's okay. Do your red eye impression. I don't remember how red eye casted. He just yelled really loud at the Australian accent. He's like Sal. He's like. Think of him like a. Like Sal with a bunch of red eye. I thought Sal was Maynard. Maynard and uh, Red, Red Eye are the same, same thing. thing. All, All Australians, Australians are the same, same except for Pig. All Australians are the same except Pig. I I I I'm going to clip that and send that to Sal and see what he thinks. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I return to inform everyone. I no longer am an officer in Alpha X. I'm <laughs> stepping away. Uh, for personal reasons. <laughs> Alright, in the top left hand corner of the map, as the red zerg, it is Bio Ice. Wait, I thought you already introduced oh, I didn't. <laughs> I thought you did. <laughs> we got on a tangent. I mean, it's not a cast with me if there's not a tangent. This is true. It, 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 if not about buffaloes, then about disruptors. What about buffaloes and disruptors? Oh boy. I think Dark we have mirror. Speed. mirror builds. One. Yeah. Um, 
I wasn't paying the closest attention, so there could be some small deviation, probably oh, out of Star Killer. I mean, I'll look at the production tab. It's basic. Yeah. Biolax is actually getting a third. Star Killer is not. That's well, actually... he's trying to. His but the lings were in the way, so this may may have been like a forced change to the build. <laughs> I'm I not. Don't know. I mean, he moved his drone out, and then he saw the lings, and then he like pulled his drone back, and I can't tell if he changed his mind or if this was always the plan. I mean, this looks like the exact same build Starkiller did in game two. Yeah, this is the same build Starkiller did in, in game two of their very first series. Right, but like the timing that he pulled his drone out was consistent with potentially taking a third and then he just kind of like kept it there for a moment <laughs> that's the beauty of Zerg man you can pull a drone and then go nah and just build a wall like, yeah you know? this is true he like I would yeah. have to ask him if he always intended to do the two base roach or if if um he was going to take a third and then changed his the mind. Out on the natural. Um, he's actually gone for a spire behind uh, his wall. So, like, he's. Yeah, this is the exact thing he did in game two. He went to okay. the roach corn and then went straight into the spire without getting roaches. Okay. So, this is. Wait, you mean to tell me he got no roaches whatsoever? Yeah. Oh. The only time he got. No, he got, like, he got, like two roaches. But they were just safety roaches, because they were roaches he was being pushed on by his drink. I don't know. Okay, this is not the same as what he did in... No, this is like he's getting... They can't... They need to stop changing the colors they were in between series. <laughs> I'm messes, sorry this upsets you. Your small, you. Brain. Your small buffalo doesn't brain. Have... Oh my. Doesn't have speed guns. I can't believe the builds always have like really late speed. Uh, Star Killer has weird builds. <laughs> His fire is gonna be done before speed is. Oh wow! Uh, there is an Overlord Scout, and it has survived to the spire. So this is not bad for Bio Ice. Like he knows mm. it's coming before the um mutas are across the. Five map. spores start on. Right. <laughs> Six scores. Yeah, he's not dying to this again. Uh, so I guess this is good in the evolution of their matchup. We get to see um, if Bioice has a response. Uh, gonna lose a queen, so that's one less mobile anti-air unit for Bioice. Good pick off. I think it's more of the mobile anti, immobile anti-air is the issue. Yeah, spores are pretty, uh, pretty strong. Strong. I mean, strong. a queen is a ground tempest, right? <laughs> I mean, yes, they are objectively this a ground tempest. <laughs> Starkiller is really committed to this air play. He's just gonna go wing blank muta. Sure. Why not? Why not? ZBZ, ZBTs. Yeah, totally. This queen is going to uh, chip away at these mutas. Good pullback of the injured muta. There's so many queens! The amount of queens makes me sad. <laughs> Why? Why does having eight queens on the field make me sad on three bases? Yes, why does this make you sad? Well, let's just put three queens on base. And I mean, two more at a time, because why not? Queens are, are a good defensive unit. If you want to play defensively, have good creep spread, and... Oh, no, I know they're good. That's what's making me sad. Okay. I don't like good units. I don't like other races having good things. <laughs> okay, well, the gas has <laughs> fallen. I, I, I see. You're one of those Protoss that, uh... Protoss are the only race that gets to have nice things. Right, right, okay. 
I, I understand now. Investor play again, and it worked pretty well. He didn't have a third last time, so he lost the base trade. Um, but he won like the straight up battle, so I think. Hmm. Assuming he doesn't just straight up die somehow. Do they have the They do. Oh, nice, uh, fungal. Getting... Oh. oh. Everything. <laughs> wow. But, um... I don't think it matters. Yeah, I'm... Or the queens. Well, there are still a healthy... There's still a healthy number of roaches. Okay, but roaches can't shoot up. This is true. Yeah. Uh, he has enough roaches for the ground and enough queens for the air. I, th I think uh, Bioice is okay at the moment. I, d I don't think he's dead just... He's not dead, but he can't push out. No, I, 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 I agree. I, he can't push out. Well, this is... Hmm. Actually... Or, actually, no, there's not enough transfuses. <laughs> Use the the nerf! Oh gosh, he's been reset to three queens. Um, the Muta oh, flock no, is... No. is not like... Oh, that one queen is... okay. There's a spore. She, she, she is safe for now. Um, okay, there are two more queens in the main. So, we're back up to six queens total. Well, with the um, uh, I don't know if I have a way to do that right now because I'm also running OVs. Just put on the end. And. Well, they have to come, right? You well, need yeah. some constant anti-air for the for the mutas. Yeah, I mean that's why you have the infestors, though. You just chain fungal. Like, and the, the infestors are a support them. unit. They they don't deal with the mutas by themselves. So are the queens. Queens are macro support units. Oh, we're going for a base trip, baby. Oh wow. Chaos everywhere. Mutas are on top of this fourth. Lings into the natural. Uh, the roaches at the at teal's natural Actually. are being cleaned up, but the main force for uh, bile ice is bringing up the rear. Uh, the mutas have been. Where are they? Mutas are confused on what they want to do. We don't know what they want to do, but they will figure okay. it out soon. I see. Hopefully not be like that over here and flying to three spores and three queens. Yeah, I think Starkiller is just dead. I I think you're right. I don't see uh. He's three vipers on the way. Um, Why I don't know. I feel like he needed lurkers, not vipers. He doesn't even have a lurkers dead now. He doesn't have a hydra dead. Right. No, I, I, I'm not saying what he could have made. It's just... He needed to pick up. Like, if you want to stop a ground force, and you don't have matching roach numbers because 
we've invested in like Ling Muda. I right. I I, I don't. I, I guess he had intended to hold this with harass, but now he just has to That's use his mutas. Okay, so in, unless he has something with vipers that, um, I don't know what that would be. This should be checkmate. Um, when are they going to be off creep though? Oh, they were just off creep a second. Oh. Run! 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 <laughs> Daunted says, just make High Templar and hit F. I mean, just make Marines and hit T. Yeah, what's your point, Daunted? Okay. I'm assuming that's our last game. I because they, think. They're not going to want the mainstream to just sit around and cast. No, I, th I think uh, Intuo and Sal will um, handle the last one. Alright, well, Dark Killer finishes in top four? Right? Yeah, top four. Um, I'm gonna go now. I have, I have some things I have to clean. Alright. I'm behind on schedule because I woke up at 1.30. Catch you later then. Goodbye. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks to everyone who played. Remember to sub to me for a dollar a month over Twitter for Buffalo Facts. Uh, Bashaman knows what I'm talking about. So does Lord Terrence. Bye. Catch you all later.